else. So today I'm going to be showing you how you can achieve this Game of Thrones body paint and makeup in honor of the season finale. So let's go ahead and get started. To start off, I'm going to be taking my Maybelline Master Prime and applying that all over my face. Then I'm just going to be taking my Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Foundation in the color Medium Neutral and mixing that with some of my Maron Metallic Powder in the color Gold just so I can get more of a glowy finish. Going into my Anastasia Cream Contour Kit, I'm going to be taking this highlight color and just highlighting all of the high points of my face that I want to bring out and bring some light to. Next, I'm going to be going into these two contour shades, and I'm going to be applying that on my forehead, my cheekbones, my jawline, and even bringing it down to my neck. Once you're done with that, you just want to go ahead and blend this out with your damp beauty blender. I start with my highlighted points first, and then I move on to my contour. Once you finish blending that out, you're just going to go ahead and start baking that with your Airspun Translucent Powder and a dry Morphe sponge. Taking my Maron Mixing Liquid and Gold Metallic Powder, I'm going to be sweeping that through my eyebrows just so I can get a little bit more of a fanciful effect. I'm also going to be taking my Copper Metallic Powder and doing the exact same thing. For the eyes, I'm going to be taking my Smashbox Primer and I'm just going to be applying that to my eyelids. Going into my Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette, I'm going to be taking this highlight champagne color and just highlighting my brow bones. Then I'm going to be taking this tangerine color on my Eco Tools fluffy brush and just applying that through my lid for the transition shade. And then you just want to make sure that you blend that out. Spraying some Maybelline Master Fix on my brush, I'm going to be dipping into my Morphe 35O palette, taking this metallic rusted orange color, and I'm just going to be applying that all over my lid. Then taking my clean finger, I'm just going to be dipping that into the color and smudging that out because I'm kind of going for a little bit more of a messy, gilded, smoky eye. Taking this dark chocolate color with gold flecks from the palette, I'm just going to be smudging that into my crease just to build up that color a little bit more. Then I'm going to be taking this black color from my Jaclyn Hill palette and just smoking that in as well. Once again, it does not have to be perfect. We kind of want this to be a little bit more on the messy side. Taking this light gold color and a large fluffy brush, I'm just going to be blending that between my black and my highlight color just so I can get a little bit more of a transition and throw a little bit of the gold in there. Then I'm just going to be going back into that foiled rusted orange color and just build up that pigment a little bit more. Taking that same color, I'm going to be smudging that under my lower lash line from the inner corner to the outer corner. Then I'm going to be going back into that light gold color and applying that from the inner corner to the middle of the lower lash line. Taking my dark chocolate color, I'm going to be doing the opposite. I'm going to be applying that from the outer corner to the middle of my lower lash line and then doing the exact same thing with the black to build up the pigment. Taking this darker gold from the palette, I'm going to be applying that around my inner corner and blending that out towards the middle of the eyelid. Taking my Physician's Formula Bronzer, I'm going to be bronzing my entire face. Now I would also contour my face, but I actually forgot to do that somehow. So just make sure you want to contour as well. Next I will be using my L'Oreal Silk With Me Liner in black and I'm just going to be tight lining my lower lash line and applying that on my lid and tight lining my upper eyelid as well. I'm then going to be going back into my Maron Metallic Powder in gold and I'm going to be applying that on my lid just to make it look a little bit more abstract and I'm going to be blending that out with my blending brush. Going into my Smashbox Blush Palette, I'm going to be taking Highlight Coral, True Flush, and Rich Bronze and I'm going to be mixing those together and just stippling that on my cheeks. I'm then going to be taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills That Glow Glow Kit and taking Sunburst and Golden Bronze and just highlighting my face. To prep my lashes, I'm just going to curl them and then go in with my Benefit Their Real Mascara and just sweep that through my eyelashes. For my false lashes, I'm just going to be popping on my Monda 302 and blending that in with some mascara. Then just like my eyebrows, I'm going to be applying my Maron Copper and Gold Metallic Powder. For my lips, I'm just going to start by outlining them using my NYX Deep Purple Lip Liner. Then I'm going to be taking my ColourPop Liquid Lip in Rouge and just applying that all over my lip. For a little bit more detail, I'm going to be taking this dark gold with my finger and just applying that over top of the lipstick. Taking my gold metallic powder again, I'm just going to be taking a fluffy brush and lightly sweeping that over the highlights of my face. 
that was it for the makeup portion. Now we're going to go on to the body paint. I'm going to be taking my Graftopian Pro Paint in White Swan, and I'm going to start off by outlining what I want it to look like. So I'm going to be using this reference photo the entire time. Now the trickiest part about this process is that I have to do everything backwards so that the viewer can see it how it's supposed to look, but for me it is backwards in the mirror. So often you will see me holding up my phone, looking at it, trying to make it look exactly correct and this is a difficult process but patience will get you through it. I don't really have many tips for the outlining portion just because it is just mostly paying attention to detail and trying to get the shapes correctly but besides that just kind of go for it. Don't feel bad if you have to erase one part and have to do it again. I had to do that multiple times especially with the animals just kind of taking away and fixing it as I would go. Same thing goes for the letters. This part was very difficult because not only are you writing on your chest, but you're writing backwards. So I am having to look through the mirror, check my phone, and just making sure that the letters are looking how I want them to. Once I have finished outlining, I'm going to be taking my Graftobian Pro Paint in Fuzzy Burr Brown and then I'm going to be outlining those letters and just making sure that no paint gets in between them so when I put the brown behind it, it doesn't interfere with my white body paint already laid down. Next I'm going to be taking my Maron Mixing Liquid in Copper Metallic Powder and I'm going to be putting in the details in the wood carvings. However, I'm just doing a few squiggles because if I were to do the actual details, I would have been there for 10 hours. So just doing a few squiggles and the highlights and shadows would be just as fine. Then taking my Gold Metallic Powder, I'm going to be going over my white letters. Taking my black eyeshadow, I'm going to be putting in some shadows on the wood and around my letters. Going back into my brown body paint, I'm going to be adding the frame of the wood and this is going to be a lighter brown so I'm just making sure to keep that lighter than the inner part that has the title and I'm also going to be taking my black body paint and adding my wood details. Taking my Graftobian Pro Paint in Gilded Gold, I'm going to be mixing that with my Fuzzy Bear Brown and I'm going to be applying that on the outer frame of the circle and on the animal details. Taking my Maron Paradise paint in black, I'm then going to be adding the details in the carvings and then just trying to make them look a little bit more realistic and lifelike. Taking my Graftobian Pro paint in Graveyard Gray, I'm then going to be mixing that with some of my black body paint just so I can get more of a darker grayish black and I'm going to be putting that in the open spaces in the circle part. I'm then going to be going back with Gilded Gold and just outlining the furnace sections. For the fire, I'm going to be taking my red and orange body paint and I'm just going to be outlining the open sections of the fire just so I can get a little bit more depth and dimension regarding the flame itself. Then I'm going to be going in with my yellow body paint and gold metallic powder just to make it look more lifelike. Taking my black body paint again, I'm just going to be adding my wood carvings just so I can make the wood look a little bit more realistic. You also want to add some black eyeshadow along the rim just so it looks like it is actually protruding over the medallion portion. Taking my matte yellow from my Morphe 35B palette, I'm going to be adding the highlights and the glow that the letters show. So I'm going to be starting with the G and slowly moving on to the other letters. To add more of the reflection, I'm going to be taking this shimmer yellow and applying that over top as well. Taking my white body paint, I'm going to be creating the rays that the fire behind the emblem makes. So I'm going to be start by painting that on and then taking my fingers and then just blending them outwards so it has more of a natural looking fade. I wanted to move the color to my shoulder so I did move the darker wood as well. However, I wasn't as worried about making it straight because I'm like, oh, it's going to look artsy. But if I went back now looking at my photos, I probably would have made it look more straight. I'm then going to be taking my yellow body paint to make the rays look a little bit more realistic and I'm going to be going over top of that with my orange body paint and red body paint as well. To add more detail, I'm going to be taking my gold metallic powder and sweeping that through the rays so it adds more detail and looks a little bit more realistic. For the finishing touch, I'm going to be taking my chip brush and gold metallic powder and I'm going to be stippling that across my face. I'm also going to be going in with my copper powder as well just so it breaks up the makeup and looks a little bit more connected to my body paint. 
And that is the completed look. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a comment down below what video you'd like to see next. Or if you just want to talk about Game of Thrones, I'm so down for that. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!